Hi, my name is Simona and welcome to Tuts Plus. You are watching the course Mastering Color in Adobe Illustrator CC and this is Lesson Color Models. In this lesson we will be talking about the different color models we can choose from when setting up a new document and which other color models we have available when creating a new color swatch. We will discuss the differences of color models and when to choose one over the other. So let's get started. I already have Adobe Illustrator open. Before we create any artwork, we usually need to determine what the artwork will be used for. For example, will we be creating an artwork for the web or other digital devices, or will the artwork be printed, for example as a poster or a t-shirt? Once we know if it is for print or for the web, then we can choose our appropriate color model. But what is a color model actually? Color modes or color models describe the colors that we see, and you might have heard of RGB or CMYK, HSP, or WebSafe RGB. Those color models describe the colors in a numerical value, and each of those models represent different method of classifying color. Another term you might have heard of is the color space. A color space is really just a variant of a color model. For example, you can set your color space to Adobe RGB, sRGB, or Apple RGB. Each of those color spaces define the color in RGB on your monitor. But there's one big difference. It is the gamut they use. The gamut is a range of colors when you work with colors in graphics. And it often happens that the same image looks different from one device to the next, even though the numerical value of the colors are exactly the same in your document. The reason this happens is the gamut range of each device is different, and therefore the colors get represented slightly different. RGB is usually used for web graphics and CMYK for print. Sometimes we start designing in RGB and all looks good, but then when we go to convert it to CMYK, the colors fall flat and things just don't look as good anymore. This is simply because a printer works in CMYK mode and not all RGB colors can be printed in CMYK and some colors cannot be represented in RGB. For example, metallic colors on paper are very hard to recreate on the monitor screen. Now let's see what color modes we can choose from in Adobe Illustrator. When we create a new document, we can set the color mode either to CMYK or RGB. As you might know, CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And those primary colors are used to create other colors from a percentage of those inks mixed together. RGB stands for red, blue and green. And those three colors or lights are used to represent the colors on your screen by mixing a percentage of them together. Now let's set up the document and choose RGB in the advanced settings here. Now we have a document with the color mode RGB. If we needed to, we can change it of course. All we have to do is go to File, Document Color Mode and there we can switch to CMYK or RGB and vice versa. Now inside Adobe Illustrator we can select more than just these two color models. Let me explain what I mean by that. When we go to the swatches panel over here and then create a new swatch by clicking on the icon down there, we can choose more than just RGB or CMYK from the color models in the color model drop down here. Here, as you can see, we can choose from grayscale, RGB, HSB, CMYK, lab, and WebSafe RGB. Now, grayscale is a percentage of black, from 0 to 100. 0 being white and 100 being black. And of course, any number in between is a shade of gray. Then we have RGB. Here we can mix values from 0 to 255. Notice the small icons here on the side. Those are indicating to us that we are out of gamut, meaning this color in the RGB cannot be printed, because they don't have an equivalent in the CMYK model. 
We could adjust this by clicking on the triangle and the color will be put into gamut. But if we are working for web, we are OK and we don't have to change anything. Same goes for the out of web color warning. Web safe colors are the 216 colors used by all browsers, regardless of platform. So we can just adjust it by clicking on the icon to get a web safe color. Here we have the HSB color mode. HSB stands for U, Saturation and Brightness. It is just like the RGB mode, but it is a bit more intuitive when mixing colors. But more to that later on. Next we have the CMYK color mode. And here we can mix the percentages of the four primary colors to create other colors with it. And then we have the lab mode. Lab mode is split up into light and A and B. A has reds and greens and B has blues and yellows. This is just another way of representing color and lab is considered to be a device independent color model. Last we have the WebSafe RGB color mode. This mode is a modified RGB color mode which includes only those RGB colors that are appropriate for the use on the web. Now as you might have noticed, we can choose all those color modes for new color swatches in Adobe Illustrator, but only two color modes for our document. In the end, we have to convert all color modes into either RGB or CMYK, and that's why we can only choose two color modes for our document setup. And this is it for a quick overview of color modes and color spaces in Adobe Illustrator. Remember, first we need to ask ourselves what kind of medium our artwork will be used for, and then we can choose the appropriate color model. But to keep it simple, we either choose RGB for web or CMYK for print. So let's move on to the next lesson and learn more about the Adobe Illustrator swatch panel, color guide, and color panel and how we can use all of them efficiently.